just comments about uh, this last game. It's uh, uh, not the vision that we had going over there. Uh, again, I thought uh, I thought we got a really really good effort uh, out of our squad defensively. Uh, made too many mistakes, and usually the team that makes the fewest mistakes will win. And you know, from a defensive standpoint, that was a, that was the case. Uh, we uh, and whether it was scheme or whether it was mistakes, we didn't do a very good job getting off the field on third down. So that'll give you something to talk about. You know, they were just slightly over 50 percent, and, and that's not good enough to win. We got to be at 70 percent. We only got two takeaways. That's not good enough. Uh, I can't remember whether we had two or three three and outs, and that's not good enough. You know, we got to be a better defense. And as you saw, I'm sure you did. Uh, you know, tackling had a lot to do with that. Uh, I'm not disappointed in our players and their effort. They, like I said, they gave us very good effort. But fundamentally, from the standpoint of tackling, we got to be better. And uh, it's going to get better. I guarantee you that. Uh, with that said, uh, I'll start taking questions. Was fatigue a big factor in the second half in those tackles? No, I, I don't think so. We, you know, because the tackles, the tackles that we missed were most of them were over pursuit. You know, and we got to be able to leverage the ball, and not let it cut back on us. And I don't think it, I don't think it had anything to do with it. You know, and you know, we get off the field a couple times, and and the time of possession will be in our favor. You know, we allow them to extend drives. We uh, we get a, a an inter interference call on a big third down where we're off the field, uh, but you know those kind of things happen, and uh, uh, you know we miss tackles on the sideline where if we just use the sideline and press the ball to the sideline, then we're going to be off the field again. You know so uh, you know it's fundamentals that we can improve, and uh, you know it's what we got to do. And again, I go back to what I said in preseason. It gets down to coaching. It gets down to coaching and. and and we got to do a great job of coaching. Uh, we got uh, we got good enough players to win with. Uh, do we need more depth? Oh, absolutely. That's why we got to go recruit. But it gets down to fundamentals, and we got to do a better job of coaching fundamentals this week. What do you think the play of your end, spe uh, specifically the younger guys? Uh, they got to the edge a little bit on you. Well, you know, it wasn't it wasn't always the end's fault when they got to the edge. Okay, so let's 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 say that make that statement first. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, we did a poor job of supporting some of the speed stuff that uh, came at us, and uh, you got to understand coverage and who has support and, and those kind of things. So, you know, and again, that gets back to, to coaching as well. But you know, we played uh, we played the four true freshmen, and uh, you know, we're not going to make any excuses for that. Hey, next man up, they got to go, they got to play, and you no, know, I thought they did. I thought they did a good job. Uh, you know, are they are they SEC ready right now? Well, yeah, they are because they're going to play. So, and we got to continue to get them better. Steve Caldwell will do a great job of, of coaching them up, and they'll get better this week. And, and obviously, during the course of the game, they got better. So, you know, so um, you know, again, it, it's not if they get outside; it's not always the end's fault. Coach, I'll go ahead. Go ahead, Austin. Did you did you get any explanation on that pass interference call that started teams from today? The refs explain that or anything? Um, um, Pass interference against Turkey is on the. Well, it, uh, you know, we're not, we don't, we don't talk to them. I mean, they make the calls and we don't officiate, and, you know. Well, before we were at it, we couldn't see what happened. Well, I, I can't, I can't really comment on officiating and, and you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not wealthy enough to pay the fine. <laughs> Coach, uh, at some point you're going to need some of those freshmen on the back end, like uh, Catalan and, and Bush. How far off are they before you feel comfortable putting them in and meeting those Well, well, they're not bad, you know. It's, you know, and coaches sometimes they get you know a little bit nervous, and, and we were trying to get that thing turned around, and uh, you know we kept our best guys in there. You know that that, that gave us the best shot, but we've got to just like just like we did. Uh, you know, we got in a situation uh, where we didn't we didn't play. Uh, play in the first game and we were trying to get him in, trying to get him in and we didn't. Now he's got to go out there his first first game and play a bunch of reps in the SEC. And uh, you know we gotta we gotta we gotta speed that up. We gotta find you know areas that we can uh, uh, you know get them in the game so they can gain that experience. Because really I mean it's the truth. You, you can practice and practice but they gotta get the game experience to get ready to play. Coach in watching Colorado State it looks like they Use that number 22 on on the edges, and they throw to their their tight ends, their H back, they go deep. I just wonder how they evolved from last year, in your view. 
Well, they, they got the quarterback back. You know, the, uh, their starting quarterback was really, you know, should have been started last year. He got hurt in all season. Came out of spring practice, would have been started last year. Uh, I think, uh, I'm quoting this, I think he uh, uh, messed his knee up playing basketball during the summer and, and missed, you know, a big portion of the season. So, you know, he is an NFL quarterback. There's no question about that. 22 will be, uh, uh, you know, he can get on the edge and run some of the same stuff that, that Ole Miss did with number nine, you know. Uh, uh, but he can get on the edge and stretch a defense in a hurry. You know, those guys are really good players. And, uh, you know, he's a true freshman. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, he's, he's already made an impact on, on their team and uh, somebody that we've got a game plan for there in the Thank you. Well, yeah, I wasn't going to ask you about the the downfield stuff too. I mean, they got tall guys. How, how difficult might they be to defend? Well, I mean, we, we sit in SEC all the time, and, and, and certainly, you know, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, our, our pass rush will, 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 you know, continue to grow because some of it you got to defend with your pass rush. I mean, you can't, uh, you know, you can't always do it all just with, with, with coverage, and, and uh, you know, we got to get the quarterback off the spot. And, and I, I'll tell you this. You know, quarterbacks are, are and, and, and Coach Bobo does a tremendous job of coaching quarterback, always has. And uh, if they're well coached, if you don't make them get off the spot and, 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 and you don't make them uncomfortable, uh, then they're good enough to make the throws, and this quarterback's good enough to make the throws. We've got to get him off the spot, and, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, the more we do that, the more success we'll have. i got two more things. Um, did Ole Miss – did Corral like moving around a lot more than they did in the Memphis game? And part two, how did Grant Morgan do with all the reps he got for Scooter and, and Scooter? Okay. Yeah, you know, he did. He did fine, and, and Scooter's fine. Grant's fine. Uh, you know, as I said, you know, we don't we don't lose a lot when Grant goes in the game. I feel very very comfortable with him playing. And really, you know, in an ideal situation, the number of snaps that Scooter uh, had was about what I'd like for him to get. You know, and that way. You know he's not going to get worn down. And uh, in terms of them moving around, yeah, they did a little bit more than they did against Memphis, but not anything that we didn't expect. We knew they would, uh, you know, have to do some things, and uh, we, uh, uh, you know, there was a couple things, but but we, we pretty much expected what we got. Yeah. Coach, after after the way the last game last year went with this team, I'm guessing you don't have to say much to these guys to to motivate them. Well, you know, listen, you know, you come back and, uh, you know, from a game where you, where you hadn't played as well as you should have, and uh, we got a good group of young men, and, and certainly we're going we're going to push them to be motivated. But I'm going to tell you, uh, I think they will be motivated and, and should be as well as the coaches, and that's the way we're going to coach, and that's what we're going to expect. Can you say something about Curl's play, just the individual play he made, and how big that that was at the time? Well, you know, obviously it's it's a big part of what we we do work. Has paid off. You know, he's able to get the ball out and able to pull it out and it bounce right back to him. And uh, you know, anytime you get an opportunity to score on defense, it's a big play. Uh, I just wish that we'd have done some other things a little bit better so we could have made it count. Thank you, guys. Thank you.